Mountain peaks across the Wasatch Front are now capped in snow, and some of that snow comes from a place that might surprise you. ABC 4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner has that story. That last round of storms really packed a punch. You can see I am nearly halfway up my shins in snow right now, close to a foot fell over the last two days here on Mount Ogden, and at least some of the credit for all of this fresh powder belongs to the Great Salt Lake. How is this connected to this? Lake effect snow, we've all heard about that. It's a common phrase, but what does it mean? The abundant snowfall we get in the Wasatch Mountains is directly influenced by the level of the water in the lake. So as the lake recedes, then that snowfall is expected to be less abundant. If the lake dries out, Utah will still get snow, just less of it. But dust from the lake bed creates additional problems. Those dust sources get onto, uh, deliver dust onto the snowpack, and once the snowpack uh, loads these things up, it darkens the snow, it melts the snow faster, so it's influencing, um, again, our water supply. If the snow melts too soon, it doesn't make it into the rivers, and in turn, doesn't make it to the lake. So I think if we can tip that scale to get to the point where, yeah, we've got some more water in the lake, which means more snow in the mountains, which means better winters, which means more water in the lake. So that's really the goal. During the winter months, lake effect storms can account for up to 10% of snowfall in the area surrounding the Cottonwood Canyons. This is the area that is most affected by these storms. Reporting in Weber County, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.